What's up everyone? So I'm making a video right now on how you can make muscle and strength gains consistently throughout the year. So I talk a little bit about this in my Instagram, which you can follow down below there, but I would rather really show you visually so that you can understand it and really see the big picture of how you can make muscle and strength gains throughout the year. This is really gonna motivate you and really actually keep you on track with your goals because you're gonna set goals based on hypertrophy and then you're gonna set goals based on strength and you're gonna continue to get those goals because you're gonna switch between those two. So. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to make muscle and strength gains throughout the year. All right, welcome to my computer everyone. So let's just jump right into this. So you note right here that the bulking phase is like three months and then the strength phase is gonna be two months. This is because you wanna take advantage of the bulking phase and really build up a lot of mass and it doesn't take that long to really build up a decent amount of strength. So it only takes like two months or something like that. So let's get start out with an example right here. Let's say that you can squat 315 for a one rep max. All right, let's just say that. Now, because you can squat 315 for a one rep max, I could probably say that you could probably do 245 for 10 reps, right? Maybe 255, like whatever. The whole point of this bulking phase right here, okay? The weights aren't important, the example isn't important, it's just an example, but the whole point of this bulking phase is to really build up your 10 rep max, which is right here, okay? So we're gonna switch between 10 reps and six reps throughout the phase so that you really uh, push heavier weights and you can still push 10 reps. Now, like I said, the goal was to build up this 10 rep max. So let's say at the end, you've eaten all the food and you've done all the training, okay? You've built some muscle on your legs now. So you can do uh, 275, all right, for 10 reps. All right, now that's not too bad because you've actually just increased your lifts over these like three months, 30 pounds, right? You've actually gone from 245 to 275 with 10 reps. So 275 is actually pretty close to your 315 one rep max, right? So we're gonna jump into the strength training right here. And you're gonna start off with what, five reps? You know, that's usually what we start off with in powerlifting. Five reps, five reps, you know? What are you gonna be able to do for that first week on the five reps? Well, 275 is gonna be fucking easy as hell. So let's say that you could probably do 305 for your first week, five reps. You know, next week you might come back and you might do like, 310 or something you're gonna be at 315 for five reps in the first couple of weeks of your strength phase okay that so and it's gonna be easy okay trust me when I say that it's gonna be easy and that's just only after three months of bulking so you've made your legs bigger so now you can really handle more of weight so if we keep going through this strength phase you're gonna be doing three reps you know so you might get up to like you know 335 for three reps and you're gonna be getting into the singles as well you know uh, so for like one rep Let's say for the one rep, right, after you've gone through the entire strength phase for two months, you're going to be pushing 355 and maybe 365, okay, for a one rep max, okay? Now, there you have it right there. That's like you've just increased your lifts, you know, about 50 pounds, and you've actually gotten bigger. You've, in, you've uh, increased your muscle size quite substantially to support those weights. Now, does it end here? Of course not, because you can jump right into this bulking phase right here. And because, here's the magic, this is, this is the magic right here. Because you were just lifting these weights right here, right? These heavier weights for three reps and one reps, a, a 10 rep max is going to feel very light in the first couple of reps, right? So for a 10 rep max, let's just say that you could do, right, because you were just doing this weight rate, these weights right here, 365 and like 335 and whatever. Let's say that for a 10 rep max, you could probably do 285, okay? Which is just 10 pounds heavier than uh, the end of your last bulking phase. So you could start with 285 for 10 rep max, and you're going to increase that as the weeks go on, and you actually might wind up getting close to 315, maybe even past 315 for 10 reps, okay? That's some big boy weight right there. You know, so by eating all the food and doing the training necessary, you're going to keep tearing your muscles down and building them back and you're going to be doing 315 for 10 reps. But that only happens after you've gone through this strength phase and the original bulking phase, right? Because they like to build on each other, right? So you take a look at this, this bulking phase helps the strength phase and this strength phase helps you lift more weight in the bulking phase, right? And if you can lift more weight for hypertrophy ranges, they're going, your legs are going to be very big. Now we switch back over to strength training and you're doing 315 for 10 reps, you know, 335, 365 even for like five reps, 
It might be a little tough at first, but as the weeks go on, it's gonna be easier. You might actually wind up getting to 395 for one rep max on this cycle. So instead of just staying with 315 and trying to grind this weight out for you know several months or whatever it might be instead of doing that you can just get big right you can put you can actually look good put some weight on your on your legs and you can get really strong as well so simply by doing that as you can see you can really increase your weights and you can get really jacked at the same time right because you're going to be doing these bulking phases where you're going to get bigger and you're going to get more jacked and then you're going to do those strength phases where you're really going to capitalize on that new muscle mass and really hammer home some heavy weights. All right, guys, I really hope you guys found that video informative. And if you did, please leave a comment below or give it a thumbs up, something like that. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram or uh, email me kind of thing. And I will be doing a video on mass progression and strength progression so you guys kind of know how to progress through those phases appropriately so if that's something you want to see just go ahead and hit that subscribe button because i'll be uploading that in a, in a couple of days so anyways i hope you guys found it enjoyable and I'll see you next time eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire